guys, today's video is a what's in my gear bag. A lot of you guys have been asking me for a what's in my swim bag again, but I just got a gear bag and I've been using it every single day, so I thought a what's in my gear bag would be really beneficial for you guys, but also entertaining because you wanted to see another what's in my bag type of video. And just so you guys know, I will do another what's in my swim bag when I get a new bag, and I really do want a new one. It might be coming up in the near future. I'm going to show you guys what the gear bag fully looks like once I have told you everything that's in it, because I don't want to give you guys sneak peeks before I talk about everything. So, we're going to dive right in. We're just going to grab the biggest thing in here because it's taking up a lot of space, and that is my fitness access buoy. This is really cool. The pool that I swim at does provide pull buoys, but I still do bring it sometimes because I really do like it. And my dad has also been stealing it from me to bring to his private lessons, so we both really like it. Next in here is my absolute favorite snorkel ever, my Speedo Bullet Head snorkel that I've also done a review on, so you guys can go watch that. This is awesome. If it makes it into my gear bag, it's a very special product. You know, as the makeup gurus like to say, my top shelf. That's what this is. I have my Finnis Fulcrum paddles that I also reviewed that I really love. And since these don't add an advantage when you're swimming and they also don't slow you down, I put these on in the middle of practice all the time just randomly and swim with them because they really do help my stroke. I have my Arena Power Fins in here that I have reviewed. We don't use these super often at practice, but when we do, these are amazing. I love them so much. Next, I have some real paddles in here. These are the Finnis Agility paddles that I've reviewed and I love these a lot. Now, these are getting a little bit small for me, just because, you know, I reviewed these a year and a half ago. It was like my second video on my channel. Wow, that's really cool. And when I do wear these, my fingers come up over the top quite a bit now. So I do wear my dad's a lot when we're swimming together because his are the bigger size. So maybe I will get a bigger size in these. And I would bring the Stroke Maker paddles that I really like too, but my pool already provides those so I don't need to bring them. But if my pool did not provide those, I would be bringing those too. Last in this gear bag is a kickboard from Sylvia Swimwear. I like this board a lot because it's really thick and it has a nice ridge in the back that's a nice handle. So when you're kicking, you know, your fingers can kind of go into it. I don't know why that makes a difference, but I like it. My pool just upgraded because our boards were getting really old and I already had one, so I bring this to practice with me, and I use it sometimes, but I also keep it in my gear bag just to kind of add structure to the bag, otherwise it's kind of flopping everywhere. So this helps add like a back to the bag. I also decorated it. Aww. And last but not least, on to what the gear bag looks like. This one. Aww. This is a really pretty pattern. It's kind of a beachy, purple, pink, blue, aqua, greeny color. <laughs> I I think they call this a batik print. I love this one a lot and it has a nice band to close it like that. And this is from Jolin, by the way. I can't believe I forgot to say that. And I love this a lot. That's it for this video. I know it's kind of short, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everything in this bag is definitely a hot item. All the reviews to all of these products, except the kickboard, will be in the description box below along with links to all of the products if you're interested in getting any of them. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Luna's playing with her own tail around a pole in the cat tree. Just going in circles. Mitzi is snoring. What the heck? I will also insert a picture of the Stroke Maker paddles because I don't have them with me right now, but that's what they look like right there. Oh. Is your stomach growling? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm hungry. Kickboard. Thank you.